गुड मॉर्निंग नेक्स्ट इज स्टेरिक इफेक्ट वट इज स्टेरिक इफेक्ट इट इज द स्पेशल इंटरक्शन दैट अरइज ड्यू टू द स्पेशल क्रउडिंग ऑफ दि बलकी ग्रूप इन ए मोलिक्यूल and considerably affect the properties of the molecule so if a molecule is having bulky group is present or a molecule with the bulky groups that the presence of that bulky groups will affect the reaction the stability and the other properties of the molecule so that is what is called uh, steric effect look at here we can take ch3 ch double bond ch single bond ch3 what is this one in the second carbon the uh, double bond is starting therefore uh, this one is uh, but 2 in but 2 in 1 2 3 4 carbon 4 carbon alkene is uh, butene butene since the double bond is starting from the second carbon it will change into but 2 in but 2 in now you can see that but 2 in is having two types of uh, stereo isomers one is uh, look at here i am writing this double bond first c double bond c and uh, in the first carbon there is a hydrogen okay hydrogen and a ch3 group okay here and in the second carbon also there is a hydrogen and a uh, ch3 group this is the actual structure of but 2 in look at here ch3 ch3 ch ch double bond ch ch single bond ch3 and now here you can see that the hydrogen atoms are in the same side of the double bonded carbon atom and the two methyl groups are also on the other side of the uh, double bonded carbon atom this isomer is known as a cis cis but 2 in what is this one cis but 2 in and now look at here if you uh, rotate this molecule you can see that uh, you get the another the other isomer that means uh, here it is ch and here it is ch3 when you rotate the molecule if the ch3 group will go up and the h will come down so we get the either isomer double bond c here it will become ch3 and here it is uh, h this isomer is known as uh, trans trans but 2 in but to in okay now look at it here this is cis 2 uh, but 2 in and this one is uh, trans uh, but 2 in what is the difference between cis and trans in cis you can see that the dike groups are in the same side of the molecule or the same side of the double bonded carbon atom here you can see that this is the double bonded carbon one side is uh, both the hydrogen atom and the other side are both the alkyl groups or the both the methyl group here you can see that since the methyl groups are on the same side the two methyl groups are on the same side the two methyl bulky groups are on the same side what will happen there will be a, a steric interaction between these two bulky group that means there will be a steric repulsion between these two uh, alkyl groups methyl groups present in uh, cis isomer in cis isomer we can see that uh, the two ch3 groups are on the same side of the double bonded carbon atom therefore uh, these two bulky groups will have a, a steric repulsion or uh, due to the presence of these two alkyl groups on the steric uh, or on the same side there will be a steric crowding steric crowding which will result in the uh, uh, which will result in a steric repulsion that means uh, this cis isomer this cis isomer is uh, less stable than a trans isomer look at here in the trans isomer the two bulky groups are in the opposite side that, that means uh, they, these two bulky groups are far apart these two bulky groups are far apart as possible so what will happen there will not be any steric crowding in transbutene or there will not be any steric repulsion between these two bulky groups because these two bulky groups are far apart as possible but here the two bulky groups are close to each other therefore here will be a, uh, a steric crowding or steric repulsion and uh, since these two alkyl groups are far apart in trans there will not be any steric crowding therefore uh, trans isomer is more stable than a cis isomer okay 
This is what is called uh, uh, steric effect. Now, based on steric effect, let us discuss some properties of uh, certain molecules. So, look at it here. Let us take methyl amine CH3 NH2. Okay. Dimethyl amine CH3 toys NH and trimethyl amine CH3 tris TN. Here it is CH3 NH2. One more hydrogen atom is replaced by CH3, therefore CH3 toys NH dimethyl amine. This is methyl amine CH3 NH2 methyl amine methyl methyl amine. And this one is uh, dimethyl amine, methyl amine. And uh, this one is uh, trimethyl amine, methyl amine. Now, my question is uh, uh, which one is more basic, or what is the order of basicity of uh, methyl amine, dimethyl amine, and uh, trimethyl amine? Look at it here. We know that uh, this is CH3NH2. CH3 NH2, this uh, we have already discussed this point. What do you mean by a base? Base means uh, which can accept a proton. Why CH3 NH2 is accepting a proton due to the presence of lone pair electron on the nitrogen atom? It can easily accept a proton, so therefore it can act as a base. Now look at it here. Here also one more effect is there due to plus I effect, electron pushing effect. What will happen? What will happen? This electron density will increase. Therefore, it will easily accept H plus. That means uh, methyl amine is basic. Now next is uh, dimethyl amine. Dimethyl amine means CH3, N, H, NH, and uh, one more CH3 is here. And of course, lone pair is there. And the CH3 group is having a plus I effect, electron pushing effect. Alkyl group is having a plus I effect. So here is a plus I effect. This we have studied. Here also plus I effect. Due to, the, due to two alkyl groups, what will happen? The electron density will be more on uh, 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 nitrogen atom in uh, dimethyl amine. That means uh, we can see that uh, uh, methyl amine, dimethyl amine, the electron density is increasing due to the plus I effect of uh, two alkyl groups. So it can easily accept uh, H plus. Okay, the electron density is increased. And when you come to trimethyl amine, what is CH3? C CH3 and CH3 and here it is, uh, here it is uh, EN, okay, all the hydrogen atoms uh, replaced by, so here you can see that here is a lone pair electron and the CH3 group is having plus I effect, this CH3 group is also having plus I effect, this is also having plus I effect and what will happen? Because of the plus I effect of uh, the three methyl group, the electron density is much higher on this nitrogen atom. So, based on the electron density uh, factor or based on the plus I effect, uh, we expect that uh, which one is more basic, trimethyl amine is more basic because of the plus I effect of three alkyl group, the electron density on this nitrogen atom is uh, much, much higher. Of course, it is there, but we can see that uh, the order of basicity uh, is uh, the most basic is uh, CH3. Uh, uh, toys CH3 uh, toys NH CH3 toys NH this is most basic then CH3 NH2 and the least basic is uh, CH3 CH3 tris EN unexpected to our expectation that means we expect that on the basis of plus I effect B we expect that this nitrogen is having the electron density is much on that nitrogen so since the electron density is uh, very high on this nitrogen we expect that uh, trimethyl amine is the most uh, basic uh, compound among these three but it is not like that we can see that uh, in trimethyl amine due to the presence of these three bulky group this three bulky group is present on the nitrogen atom when a H plus is coming uh, it is very difficult to come and attack on this nitrogen due to the presence of uh, this 
bulky group this bulky group will not allow the h plus to come and attach to nitrogen this is what is called the steric effect okay so because of the steric effect of the three alkyl group what is that what is happening the basicity is decreased the ability of uh, uh, nitrogen uh, to accept the h plus ion that ability is decreased because of the uh, steric effect of the uh, three alkyl group okay now here you can see that uh, of course in dimethyl I amine mean, steric effect is there at the, at the same time plus i effect also there but here you can see that a plus i effect is uh, predominating uh, 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 steric effect therefore uh, uh, this is most basic this is the order of basicity dimethyl amine then methyl amine and the least basic is uh, trimethyl amine because in trimethyl amine the steric factor is uh, much much higher when you compare with uh, methyl amine and uh, dimethyl amine okay <clears throat> and uh, another so this is very important uh, question why trimethyl amine is less basic than uh, dimethyl amine and uh, methyl amine even though the plus i effect is uh, uh, more on trimethyl amine okay the answer is uh, steric factor Another uh, reaction we can see that uh, uh, esterification reaction, esterification, esterification, esterification uh, reaction. We can see that what do you mean by esterification reaction? Carboxylic acid react with uh, alcohol in presence of concentrated H2SO4 will give ester. We can see that uh, CH3COH symbol acid, acetic acid react with uh, ethanol C2H5OH in presence of concentrated H2SO4 will undergo esterification reaction that means what is that uh, here H and uh, OH what do you get we get uh, CH3 CH3 CO CO or uh, CO C2H5 we get this ester okay so what is that uh, CH3 CO O CO O we can write like this or uh, you, you can show the uh, displayed formula CH3 CO O then what is that uh, C2H5 this is ester okay now we can see that uh, you take next uh, home of the series okay so what is that uh, CH3 CH2 COOH CH3 CH2 COOH plus C2H5 OH okay this also okay you can compare the uh, uh, rate of uh, esterification reaction uh, with uh, acetic acid this is propanoic acid next is uh, CH3 CH2 CH2 COH this is butanoic acid when you take these three acid or uh, next uh, homologous uh, log also you can see that uh, the uh, acetic acid is immediately undergoing esterification reaction or you can see that the acetic acid is uh, uh, immediately releases H plus and it will change into ester what is the reason you can see that uh, when the size of the alkyl group is increasing when the size of the alkyl group is increasing here you can see that only one uh, uh, ch3 group here the uh, chain is elongated as ch3 ch2 here the chain is becoming ch3 ch2 ch2 when the chain the number of carbon atom is increasing in the chain what will happen its ability this acid's ability to react with the alcohol react uh, to with the alcohol that will decrease because there is a steric repulsion between this bulky group and uh, 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 reacting alcohol reacting alcohol so what is happening ch3 coh is immediately reacting with ethanol when you come to ch3 ch2 coh or ch3 ch2 ch2 coh you can see that uh, uh, the rate of reaction is uh, decreasing the rate of reaction is decreasing when the number of carbon atom is increasing in the uh, carboxylic acid chain when the number of carbon atom is increasing in the carboxylic acid is ch chain the uh, the, uh, the there is a steric repulsion between the carboxylic acid and the alcohol therefore what will happen the rate of reaction is uh, decreasing rate of reaction is decreasing okay next another uh, reaction 
So acidification reaction. Uh, 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 this is uh, 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 important for a steric factor, steric effect. And uh, you can see that uh, benzoic acid. We take benzoic acid. Benzoic acid react with uh, uh, ethanol C2H5OH. Again, this is also uh, esterification reaction. This is benzoic acid. Benzoic acid. Benzoic acid react with uh, ethanol. Ethanol in presence of HCl. Again, the same reaction. What is happening? H and OH is uh, eliminating. What do we get? We get uh, this ester C O O O. What is that? Uh, C2H5. Okay, we get this ester. Now this reaction is uh, immediately we are getting this ester but we can see that uh, if you take another acid like this COH is here and suppose here is a CH3 group and here is a CH3 group and here also a CH3 group that means 246 246 246 trimethyl benzoic acid 246 trimethyl benzoic acid uh, allowed to react with the uh, ethanol C2H5 oh yes you can see that uh, no reaction what is the reason because of the steric factor of this uh, bulky groups present on the ring this ethanol cannot attack on this uh, acid that means that there is a high steric effect steric repulsion between this molecule and uh, the ethanol so no reaction because of the steric effect of the bulky methyl groups present on the uh, ring okay this is what is uh, uh, steric effect okay thank you we continue in the next class